order of the companions of O. R. Tambo. In 1988, two years after my conviction for treason, I found myself in Kronstadt for some nasty reason that the apartheid the security police were specialists of. And yes, the free state gets very cold in winter. So I got bad frostbite and also chillblains. To me, two Dickensian ailments I didn't know still existed. So they gave me the biggest size men's slippers, but those still needed to be cut open for my feet to, stay, to fit in. I managed some kind of a shuffle, and that's all. Then uh, Jan van Dessel, the first secretary of the Belgian embassy, came to visit. The prison authorities didn't tell me there was a visitor, and I felt so miserable that I almost stumbled into his arm saying, Oh, Jan, I thought you'd never come again. <laughs> melodrama in an unguarded moment. They had cut me off the outside world again in Kronstadt. Even the embassy had to fight for access. And then Jan started talking about a European woman of the year. And I had no idea what or, or who he was referring to. When he finally got the story through to me, I burst out laughing and stood up and said, look at me, what a beautiful woman of the year. That was quite a day. Belgian surrealism at its best. I giggled late into the night. When the campaigns for my release and that of all other political prisoners took off in Belgium, I had a big problem with being singled out and elevated to some kind of hero status, while so many other comrades had infinitely more merit. Remember also, being caught usually meant you'd made mistakes, and I surely had. So it was doubly embarrassing. When I was in Pretoria prison with my fellow political prisoners and comrades, they were Barbara Hogan, Marion Spark, Yancy Murcott Niehaus, and Trish Hanekom. We discussed the issue, and I finally had to agree with them. For the sake of the struggle, I had to accept to be a symbol, however awkward and unmerited it felt. Of course, it is pleasant to receive such an award. And the Order of the Companions of O. R. Tambo even comes with a beautifully sculpted walking stick featuring the benevolent Majola, that is the mole snake. Its visitation symbolizes support and solidarity. There is also a reference to yin and yang, the meetings of spiritual energies. In my family, this is the chief's walking stick. Although I'm not sure I'm still the chief, I must say. It's also very special to be called the companion of O.R. Tambo, who I admired so much. And receiving the national order that is bestowed in the name of the people of South Africa is humbling. <laughs>